<laughs> but <laughs> going to that movie, which not to scare you, those movies came out over 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh um, no, I, I can't believe how unscary that is. It's just like, yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah. I've got a few quick things. Um, first of all, thank you for this dance move. I've been using it for a while now. Thank you. Yep. I think that was my attempt at taking a tip from a cool dance move that I saw that was something like that. I don't know how to dance during those high school musical movies. I was just a kid, like from the street. <laughs> it was like an actor scraping by in a one bedroom <laughs> studio apartment and uh, thinking I was going to film school when I booked that. Oh, look at all these moments. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look. Like here, like here, this is, hey, Vanessa's right there. Enjoy, you're the man! Oh, you! Congratulations, yeah. Wildcat! Oh, what about your team? We won two. <sighs> Yo, team voted you the game ball, Captain. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. I was thinking on your behalf, re-watching High School Musical 3. You must have watched Inception. Rewatching High School Musical 3. Big time. When <laughs> I was trying to be cool. Thank you. When you were watching Inception, you must have gone, oh yeah, there's this kind of rotating corridor scene. That's pretty cool. I did that back then, thank you. And basketball's raining on my head. Yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting. It's cool to know that Chris Nolan has taken note of my work um, and that he enjoyed that scene in High School Musical 3 with the twisting hallway. It's a whole different vibe, the way he did it though, when he added the guns That's and the true. Like It's a much layered, more layered story. I might agree uh, with that. but. The, uh, the shot has the similar effect in uh, our high-caliber movie, High School Musical 3. Couldn't agree with you more. You do not want to get into that, man. Too much drama. Yeah. Seriously, though, looking back to those movies, what do they mean to you? Someday you guys might thank me for this. Because they were the beginning... Or not. ...of kind of your film career. Yeah, um, it's hard to compare them to... ...to anything. Man, the first time you fall into a rhythm with something where you really can just be yourself and you're immersed with people you love, the cast is incredible. Like this, in this picture, that was after one of the most fun. We had, we had like maybe a week of rehearsal or less to choreograph five different group dances and several solo dances. But uh, <laughs> we literally finished this dance without any mistakes on, a, on a, like the third take. And that was all our budget. We had no money left. I think those movies were like, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks. And yeah. it was, we were so happy. We we're just friends doing what we love. And I believe that that was what uh, was my affirmation. Yeah. That if it's this much fun and people like it that much, yeah. they must be providing them some sort of service. God, yes. And um, there will never be another experience like that for me. I'm happy I had it so young. Yeah. I'm so blessed and I'm sending everybody from High School Musical and all the fans of High School Musical mm -hmm. lots of love because they get it. They, they get it. it. They get it. We I know. And if, and if you don't, just quit sleeping on it. Jump yeah. on. It's cool. You know what to do. Yeah. But if he saw you dancing like that, he'd put you on the show. See ya. Oh, whoa. Sorry, little darling. Hope I didn't dent your do. Was there a rule with your agent where you said, I need to be in a movie where either I sing or I do basketball? So there's Hairspray. And 17 again. I'll accept them. That's fine. Because I remember watching Seventeen again with my friends who are I'm thinking, oh god, music and basketball. No, again. not even. <laughs> I was going, oh no, he's he's showing off the basketball again. That's it's just bragging. That's all that is. The thing is, I can't play basketball, so I learned how to do that pinky move <laughs> yeah. in the parking lot that morning. And the third reason, Stan has a small wiener. <laughs> I can't help but think, when you reach an age, would you be willing to do 17 again again, where you are the Matthew Perry? Oh, no! And there is a new. Ah! We've never discussed or even thought of a movie like that. We would never dream of <laughs> such things. That would be... You couldn't take that from Matthew. You yeah. couldn't. Are you kidding me? I definitely had a dream about it. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> the trick there was getting a director who really knew character. During 17 again, mm -hmm. um, burst years. Let's go again. I learned so much about acting it's good. Uh, it's good. from that man and writing and about how the structure of a movie and a character arc and and uh, yeah, the combination of like these these two. Mm -hmm. And this one here with Richard Linklater. Mr. Wells, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who could play the ukulele better than me. He gets got balls. Kind of solidified the fact that I found this profoundly interesting and maybe even perhaps good at it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know yet. I st I'm still not sure. Look, um, but... I want to take one for the team and say, without embarrassing you, you are preposterously talented. And okay. <laughs> there are moments when we watch you. Preposterously, thank yeah, it's you. Like, oh, That's like, thank you. There's a bit in Baywatch where you're doing the, you know, ninja thing, and I'm just like, he can sing, he can dance, he can literally do ninja stuff. That's like, you know, fine. I'll just go home and do one press up. No. <laughs> That's fine. I really appreciate the fact that you noticed that. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was cute. I gotta be honest, it's fun to talk to, to guys closer to my age to get it during <laughs> interviews. Or I've seen any of my movies, frankly. There's a lot of people I meet that are our age, mm -hmm. have seen High School Musical, or maybe that's the only movie they've seen, and sure. they definitely don't want to admit it. <laughs> Liars. And you know, because they're like kind of staring at you, or they're like, <laughs> like looking, but they don't want to start <laughs> talking about it like that. So sometimes I just break the ice and be like, High School Musical, and then they're like, yeah. I was like, you, you saw it? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. And then after that, everything's great. Everything's cool. Yeah, it's just we had to establish that, unfortunately, it's I'm not ashamed of that movie. Sure, so you have a way and you can talk to me about it. And you're like, <laughs> I like love that movie. Yeah, of course. I really like the Neighbors movies. You call them Neighbors in the US. We call them Bad Neighbors. Yeah, Bad but Neighbors. Yeah. I have been so tempted to do a Robert De Niro party. What are you, what what are is you this? wearing? What, what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. We're throwing a Robert De Niro party. Oh. Like so tense. Everyone dresses as Robert. I'm a taxi driver, De Niro. Yeah, I meet the fuck as De Niro. Yeah, but the thing is, I keep thinking if you were to throw one in real life, you could actually invite Robert De Niro. Flex off! History is being made. What's up now, bro? Yeah, what's up now, bro? If you throw one in real life, I could invite me, and I could tell Robert. Yes. He would come. He's a party animal. He loves the. He loves to hang out. He would win. He would. So he would come for that. I'd like him to do like a, you know, a judging competition where he'd go, that's yeah. a terrible bickle. Are you talking to me? Yes. Yes. Are you talking to me? Are you trying to do Fokker there? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Now you've worked with some incredible big names over the years, like Hairspray. And the term live, this is Link. Casually, you got Travolta, you know, Michelle, it's like, whatever, okay, fine. De Niro, we've mentioned, and then you move on to The Rock, yeah, I'll do. I'll do a movie with him, that's fine. You know, you want to be on our team, you're going to have to pass this course. We all do. Look, Mitch, right? Lieutenant to you. Lieutenant? Like, time number one man in the world. Yeah. Like, that's an extreme hustle, and I, I not only do I not knock another man's hustle, I respect hustle. Yeah. So I look up to Dwayne for a number of reasons. Listen, Mitch, I know I messed up, okay? I should have listened. I want to be a part of this team. Am I ever gonna vlog like that? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. But um, but he can do it because he's like so buff. Sure. He's like, holds up, tells you how to had some tequila, but it's on. It is Wednesday hump day. It's also known as Wednesday's getting its ass kicked. Thursday's next in line. Like that selfie game, strong. If there's an Oscar for best vlog, straight to the rock. Yeah. No questions asked. No questions asked. Yes, we're on the set of Baywatch. Here we go. He's an animal. He's funny. Yeah. He's he's a very energetic, fun, charming. He's a fun guy to have in the room. It's yes. always, always bright. In other words, we like. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then do watch these videos or you can listen to my podcast called Radio One Screen Time. Oh, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. You can now get more Radio One in your life by downloading the BBC Sounds app or the BBC iPlayer app. Search for full-length versions of these interviews by typing in Movies with Ali Plum.